the Wikimedia community participates in a Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees election every so often. Uh, the trustees of the Wikimedia Foundation are people esteemed by the Wikimedia community to govern the Wikimedia Foundation as trustees, if you understand what a board is. In any case, these people are elected by the community. And in this community election process, the community presents questions to the candidates. I'm going to read through questions to the 2022 candidates, and I'm gonna give my own answers to these things. I think these questions are generally interested. They were chosen by the community and selected from a pool of questions as the most important ones. And any Wiki community member to which you ask these questions would have their own answers. I'm just going to give my own answers to these questions. It's about 20 questions. I'll go through them quickly. Uh, let's go. Question number one, what board initiatives should the Board of Trustees advance to provide resources in support of Wikimedia community workflows? The situation here is that the Wikimedia Foundation, being the steward of the projects, also receives the donations. A certain amount of those donations can go to Wiki community groups, other resources as well. And uh, we want to get more impact out of Wikimedia community groups, so how can the board reallocate or distribute resources to get the, get the most out of community groups? And I would say fund the community groups. Historically, the Wikimedia Foundation has not provided many grants to the Wikimedia community. You can look at the financial reports, the, gr the grants to, to, to the community in different places, and different people have different estimates. The Wikimedia Foundation often reports that they give about 30% of the money to the community. The Wiki community does their own calculations of this. Sometimes the Wiki community says it's more like 5% of the entire money. Maybe it's somewhere between 15%. There's a lot to be done, but in any case, the Wiki community is not empowered to participate very much in the allocation of these resources. Uh, the Wiki community typically doesn't ask questions about the budget. Local regional community groups don't ask much, ask many questions about the budget, and we need more money to more community groups to participate in this democratic process and to, to for the community to decide for themselves what they want. It's a bit colonial right now. People in the Western world, rich, mostly white, mostly male, fly out around the world from the Wikimedia Foundation, paid by the Wikimedia Foundation, to do outreach programs. You don't have a lot of local people actually deciding their own destiny. Uh, that's problematic. That's not what anybody ever wanted. There's a certain safety in this, in that uh, the Wikimedia Foundation can enforce its hierarchy and do things, and you get problems if you give money and people don't have a plan for what to do with it. But in any case, more money to more community groups, grow up leadership, this is, this is what we need. Should governments tax technology corporations and sponsor uh, technology nonprofit organizations like Wikipedia? Well, this this already happens. There's uh, B, uh, BBC in in the UK. There's uh, PBS and NPR in the United States. Uh, Deutsche Deutsche Welle in in Germany. So there's nonprofit media organizations. They get a certain amount of funding from from the government. This happens in in other countries as well. I do think that Wikimedia projects should apply for grants and get different slices of this. The way that I think that this should primarily happen is not necessarily government intervention, but the Wikimedia Foundation providing sponsorship, as I said, to Wikimedia community groups so that those community groups can get their administration in order so that they can apply for government grants. Of course, I think gov uh, corporations should be taxed, but also another route by means of which, instead of being heavy-handed with the government, if the Wikimedia community group, Wikimedia community groups were better supported, they could invite corporations to participate and collaborate with Wiki projects in different ways. For example, we could have outreach efforts to technology corporations so that those technology corporations, the big ones, when they have employee efforts or employee programs that encourage them to donate their time to nonprofit projects, I wish some of that labor could come to Wikimedia projects for software development, technical development, even social and ethical conversations where somebody has expertise in a field like medicine or artificial intelligence or climate change mapping, things that are important to Wiki community members. We need more expert participation. That should come from corporations. Should it be heavy-handed from the government? I'm, I'm not ready to go that far, but we need more cor corporate relationships. What should we think of the Wikimedia Endowment? So what is the Wikimedia Endowment? Excuse me. 
The Wikimedia Endowment is the endowment of the Wikimedia Foundation to sustain the Wikimedia movement. We're in 2023, as of right now, the Wikimedia Endowment is about $100 million US. The annual revenue of the Wikimedia Foundation is something like $220 million US. The Wikimedia community for years, ever since the establishment of the Wikimedia Endowment, has asked lots of questions about its management, its purpose, the intent of keeping it, how it relates to the community. And the Wikimedia Foundation has not answered those questions to the satisfaction of the Wiki community. The questions keep coming in, and the Wikimedia Foundation does have answers, but the community still has questions. So what do I think should happen with the Wikimedia Endowment? Well, we need more investment in communication. We can't say that the community is satisfied until the community itself is satisfied. That is, uh, the Wikimedia Foundation is not the judge of when the endowment has been sufficiently described. We need Wiki community consensus, the stakeholder group, to say, you've answered all our questions, we're satisfied, we all understand this. Most of the information about the endowment is in English, <clears throat> it's not being translated in other languages, and there's no Wikimedia Foundation administrative support for Wiki community groups to have their own discussions about the endowment and long-term planning of the Wikimedia movement. So, uh, short answer, Wiki community should decide what happens with the endowment. What proportion of the budget should be allocated to grants and how would you improve the grant making process? Uh, as I mentioned, the Wikimedia Foundation says that about 30% goes to community. They also say about 10% goes through the grant making process. Depending on how you look at that, some of those grants are requested by community members. Some of them the community has less, pro less agency in designing for their own purposes. and. Uh, sometimes the Wikimedia Foundation guides community groups into accepting grants for things that maybe the community didn't request. Uh, so five to 10% of the money goes to community. I would like to see the Wikimedia Foundation become more of a grant making organization. Just to throw out a number for conversation because there hasn't been a lot of discourse about this, but let's say 51% of the money that goes into the Wikimedia Foundation would be allocated to grants to do programs. The kind of things that I'd like to see funded, I'm not even sure 51% is a reasonable number, but ju just for conversation. Uh, the, the kind of things that I'd, I'd want to see replaced that the Wikimedia Foundation does that can be allocated to community, to a grant making process, uh, anything that volunteers already do. So if volunteers are already doing a thing, the Wikimedia Foundation should not hire expert staff to do that thing in-house. Anything that volunteers have historically done, uh, fund that through the grant making process, not through uh, hiring of staff in the, in the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, other, th other things that should be uh, d done with grants, more administrative, uh, commitments. So the Wikimedia Foundation funds more, not programs, but administration of Wikimedia community groups, especially so that they can organize their own democratic process and conversation about what should happen with Wikimedia community resources. What, what should happen with the money? So that shouldn't be decided at the Wikimedia Foundation level. It should be mostly decided at the community level. <clears throat> and there should be a lot more conversation about where the money's going. Uh, just to throw out something crazy, if the Wikimedia Foundation is bringing in over $200 million a year, what if there were at least a one-page report every year for every 1% of that money? That is, if someone in the Wikimedia Foundation, if there's a department and they have a $2 million annual budget or $2, or $2 million is being spent, then can there be a half-page documentation that goes to the community for that? We're not at that level yet. So there's very little Wiki community understanding and information about where the money's going in the movement. Uh, how can, uh, what departments in the foundation do you believe should be scaled back, <clears throat> if any, and why? As I said, uh, anything that's already done by the community, especially outreach, community conversation that should be organized by the community, not the foundation. Uh, how can anyone make a complaint against a Wikimedia community organization? So where transparency exists in the Wikimedia movement, it's frequently at the point of contact between wiki community organizations and the public. So since the volunteer and grant funded wiki community organizations are a primary point of contact with the public, then the public can see them and critique them and they frequently complain about them. Whereas since so much of the work of Wikimedia Foundation staff is not documented, it's not public, we don't have the budgets, we don't know what the hundreds of people at the Wikimedia Foundation are doing typically because they don't leave the kinds of records that are the norm for Wikimedia community groups. So when 
someone makes a complaint, they're more likely to point at a volunteer or a volunteer community organization than they are to staff the Wikimedia Foundation. And I think there's a, a bit of bias here in that it's not always the community organization that has the power that, that calls the problem about which there's a complaint. Whatever the case, every complaint is serious. I want them all taken seriously. And there should be a centralized reporting system. There's been several of these in development over the years. Some of them have been more technological. Some of them have been more social. It's 2023 right now. I've been hearing about these at least since 2014 from the Wikimedia Foundation. And the community was talking about these years earlier. <clears throat> There's no centralized reporting place. There's places for certain language versions of Wikimedia projects, like English Wikipedia has a quite robust dispute resolution process. Some other projects similarly have, have them in place, but there's no centralized reporting for general complaints. And if you're talking about something that happens away from the keyboard in, in a community group, in in-person events, like with a community organization, we don't have a complaint process in place. The solution to this is a centralized reporting system that spits out data about the kind of complaints that are coming in. It would be able to flag if a community group or a particular person is getting lots of complaints about them. And in any case, we need more data about what kind of complaints come in so that we can form solutions. If you want to read more about this, the Wikimedia Foundation has a project in development, the Private Incident Reporting System. I would say go there. I'm not sure what the future of this project is. It's in development and it, it doesn't give a lot of updates, but check that out. That's a way to complain about wiki community organizations. Under what circumstance should we support the establishment and development of wiki community organizations? My opinion about the community organizations, this is when a group of Wikipedians get together either in a region, like in a particular city, they meet each other in person, or thematically, like there's a medicine organization, <coughs> organization for LGBT, the Wiki loves monuments for tracking culture, cultural heritage monuments in, in different places around the world. When you have these kinds of organizations, I feel like you get a lot of impact, a lot of volunteer engagement for very little cost. When should we support the development of these? We should support them by default. If you get a certain number of Wiki editors, they have a little history of success. They, they run a campaign, give them a little money, see if they can manage it. If they manage that well, give them more money. Uh, measure the impact. This, this isn't so complicated. We get lots of digital metrics out of these things. We have ways of determining the success of these organizations. How do we manage the relationship between the Wikimedia Foundation and community organizations and support communi communication among all organizers? The way that you support communication is by sponsoring. Wikimedia Foundation should sponsor wiki community organizations to do good administration. Administration means publishing annual reports, being a point of contact, keeping a membership list, organizing community conversations, publishing the, the consensus of community members who participate in these conversations, uh, responding to uh, complaints of harassment, misconduct, reporting diversity of the organization to ensure that we've got a, a good stakeholder list. All of these things need to be done by funded staff of wiki community organizations. These are not things that can be crowdsourced. So if the Wikimedia Foundation would fund the administration of these things, you have healthier individual community organizations, a healthier ecosystem where community organizations can watch each other, support each other, make sure that they're compliant with the community values, and you have better communication in the, in the global network. So that's how that should happen. How do we address misconduct with the Universal Code of Conduct or otherwise? The Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees recently, here we are in, in 2023, this has been discussed for years, enacted some enforcement procedures for the Universal Code of Conduct. This has been a multi-year conversation where we establish standards for behavior in wiki, wiki projects and say what happens for people who are non-compliant with that behavior. All kinds of misconduct occurs. This is nothing to be ashamed of. Misconduct happens in any kind of community group and we just need to govern it, address it, be realistic about it. Uh, what should we do when misconduct occurs? I can't quite say what the particular details are. However, I would say again that the Wikimedia Foundation should sponsor wiki community organizations to organize community conversations about particular kinds of conduct that they face and for the community to speak for themselves about what they want to happen in response to this. So some of the kinds of misconduct, why, why do you need community organizations to do this? Why not just have global rules? Different regions of the world have different standards for conduct. There's some regions of the world where misconduct might be political propaganda and other regions of the world where 
people don't see their governments intervening in wiki projects in that way. Some places have corporate propaganda, a lot of advertising coming into Wikipedia. That's a kind of misconduct. The wiki LGBT organization experiences LGBT discrimination. That's not something that straight people experience, so the LGBT community should speak for itself. Different places have different religious conflicts, political conflicts. Misconduct can happen in different ways in different places, and community groups simply need to speak for itself. The way they speak for itself is you administer local staff to uh, organize the conversations and, and report the consensus of the community. Under what circumstances should the Wikimedia Foundation intervene in community affairs? I would say rarely. The, the intervention that I want is the foundation to give money to community groups so that they can manage their own affairs. But sometimes the community group isn't developed enough, it isn't robust enough, or something happens that they can't handle it. Some examples of this are we've seen censorship of Wikipedia entirely in certain countries. So Turkey for a couple years shut down access to Wikipedia. The Wikimedia Foundation flew diplomats and lawyers to Turkey to negotiate with the government and get, Wiki get Wikipedia access to the website turned off. So the government just turned the key, turned off access to Wikipedia for a couple of years. This has happened in Pakistan. It's happened in China. I don't think diplomats would be able to turn it back on in China. Sometimes you just have to give up for a while. Uh, other countries have other kinds of conflicts. There's been plenty of problems in the United States as well, uh, also in different countries in, in Europe. Uh, so Wikimedia Foundation deals with things that are too big for the community, but anything that can be delegated to community, the community should, should manage itself. Uh, what should a trustee do to improve the quality of content in Wikimedia projects? I'll just briefly say, support the community in, in developing the, the projects themselves. What does neutrality mean to you in an increasingly polarized world where right and left, east and west, constantly accuse each other of disseminating disinformation and fake news? We haven't yet begun to have a global conversation. The Wikimedia platform is a place with civility guidelines enforced that I appreciate where you can have two countries who are at war, the citizens of those countries meet each other in Wikipedia. They have debate with each other, and they decide on what one single Wikipedia article should say. It doesn't have to be war. It could be two sides of political issues. Uh, uh, every, every political contest, politicians from multiple parties, the people supporting both of those politicians, they meet in Wikipedia, and they, they come to consensus. This has played out thousands of times before. The Wikimedia pl platform is the ideal place to convene these kinds of conversations. I don't think that these conflicts and misinformation are as big of a problem in Wikipedia as they would be in other online platforms that don't have people confront each other in a civil context, which is what happens in, in Wikipedia. So problem elsewhere, less of a problem in Wikipedia. Other people should copy Wikipedia. Uh, what role should affiliates play in the sel selection of board members? By affiliates, this means affiliate organizations, so regional Wikimedia groups like Wikimedia New York City or Wikimedia Deutschland. These are organizations that represent a region, or they can represent uh, a thematic group like Wiki Project Medicine or Wiki LGBT. How should they participate in the top-level governance of the Wikimedia movement? Get out the vote. I think most people are in agreement about that, that these organizations, they maintain membership lists and they're able to advertise elections. I also think that they should uh, convene community conversations about the democratic process, get people on multiple sides of the issues or with different perspectives, put them in uh, panels or in conversations or give them opportunities to speak in community newsletters so that interested voters and stakeholders can read what the different positions in a in a collective decision is going to be so that we can have group group uh, governance democratic discussions these are values of the wiki community and affiliate organizations are essential for convening these kinds of conversations what do you think about the wikimedia foundation's current approach to fundraising the context is that every year there's protests against the Wikimedia Foundation's fundraising approaches. Uh, you can read about this. I think it was in 2023, perhaps uh, late last year, uh, the, the English Wikipedia, the signpost, the community newspaper, there were some articles about the, the fundraising strategy of the Wikimedia Foundation. I'm an editor for the signpost. I participated in these, in these conversations as well. And in brief, the community, the Wiki community, expects transparency and conversation from the Wikimedia Foundation. I think that that's the source of the problems. And if the Wikimedia Foundation would talk more with the community and empower the community to talk among itself, there would be fewer conflicts. But some of the things that the community says are the Wikimedia Foundation is 
bringing in more money than it should, uh, heavy-handed fundraising strategies, appeals to emotions that are excessive and that perhaps could persuade someone poor who ought to keep their money into giving too much to the Wikimedia Foundation. We don't want anyone to give more than they're comfortably able. We don't want anyone to give until it hurts. There's other ways to bring in money, and the goal of fundraising is not to maximize the input. It's to have a fair relationship with our community of readers and our audience and the, the, the stakeholders. And when the community found evidence that some people were feeling very sad because some of the fundraising ads said that Wiki is threatened, Wiki's in danger, please give as much as you possibly can, people were giving too much. We're not a corporation, we're not trying to sell at all costs, we're a nonprofit organization, and we need ethical standards for the fundraising. So thanks for the Wikimedia Foundation, they did respond and adopt community guidelines to this, but there needs to be a lot more conversation. This needs to be a perpetual conversation, this isn't just a one-time thing. <clears throat> How can the foundation best support editors who are in crisis, be that medical, including psych psychiatric, legal, or something else? Wikipedia has, according to the Wikimedia Foundation, a billion readers every year, a billion unique readers every year. Maybe that's an exagger exaggeration, maybe there's only hundreds of millions, but in any, in any case, Wikipedia reaches a, a huge audience. and. All kinds of people write into Wikipedia, since you have such a large audience, this is a significant percentage of the global population. They will write into Wikipedia <clears throat> with legal problems, psychiatric problems, medical problems. Sometimes harassment comes to Wikipedia editors. Someone off the internet will harass Wikipedia editors. What, what should we do about these kinds of things? I mentioned before that if somebody has a complaint, it should go to a central service and then be delegated to local local stakeholders whenever possible. Like for example, if someone's complaining about a particular country, um, something happening in India, they're complaining about Wikipedia's coverage of political topics in India. Well, I think that that should go into a central service and then be delegated to the Wiki community in India if they can manage it. And if the problem's more complicated, someone's writing in to say I'm, I'm being sued or I'm being harassed, like someone says, I edited LGBT content in this country, and as a result of this, I'm being, being harassed. I, I live in that country, can someone help me? Maybe the local group can help or maybe we need other resources. But something that we're lacking is a centralized reporting system. <clears throat> also, we don't have a, a delegation process in place because the central reporting system doesn't exist to delegate these, these kinds of things. I think that the Wikimedia Foundation has enough money to have a, a crisis response problem. The legal should probably stay with the Wikimedia Foundation legal team, that's been working very well. But what hasn't been working well is anyone responding to harassment at the Wikimedia Foundation. And uh, people who have medical problems, people who come into Wikipedia and say that they're, they're feeling suicidal, there is a response at the Wikimedia Foundation, but I, I don't find that sufficient. I think we need more third party external to Wikimedia input into what our suicide response or crisis response should be because people actually talk about this, especially in the, uh, the LGBT community. I'm not gonna say especially, but we get more, uh, more of these kinds of issues than is typical in the wiki community and the LGBT community isn't satisfied with the, the support that we're able to give for these issues. So more support for community to, to manage this itself. What's the most radical change you would, you would seek to see implemented in either the foundation or the movement? <clears throat> in the foundation, I'd like to see much more money go from the foundation to the community that has fewer hires of foundation staff and more grants to community groups. I think that that's the leveraging the, the, the volunteer community supported by administrative staff that is selected by the volunteer community to support them. I think that's the lowest cost, highest impact way to get the most out of the Wikimedia movement and the Wikimedia platforms. That is the strategy that I would recommend for the Wikimedia Foundation to advance the, the Wikimedia mission. From the community side, <clears throat> I'd like to see more conversations. The reason why community conversations don't happen is because I think there's not enough administrative support for wiki communities to have this co these conversations. But if community groups did and they were able to request grants from the Wikimedia Foundation for their own needs instead of what too often happens, the Wikimedia Foundation recommends that the community apply for grants for certain things that are chosen by the Wikimedia Foundation. If the community were better in, in control of its own destiny and asserted 
that it's the expert in its own community of stakeholders, then I think that would be the change that I want for Wiki community. Apply for grants that community themselves select. To what extent does the Wikimedia Foundation provide value for community in proportion to the budget? It's diminishing returns. There's only so much money you can put into the Wikimedia Foundation before the, the value is just not there. And I'd like to see transfer of money from Wikimedia Foundation to grants into the Wiki community. The diminishing returns to the Wikimedia community, we're, we're nowhere near there. Like, for example, uh, the budget to the, the entire country of India is like 1% of the, the Wikimedia Foundation budget. There's so much to do in that country. It's such an engaged community. It's a significant percentage of all Wikipedia editors, and yet there's almost no community organization. India is one of the biggest and richest countries in the world. They've got a lot of welfare. It's a huge economy. India is not supported. Neither are 100 other countries. There should be at least some administrative grant support to every, every country in the world that has people who can collaborate together in, in, on the internet. So if a, if a country's got an internet culture, it needs some grant support for Wikimedia community members. Uh, no diminishing returns with there, like getting at least one person in every country, huge, huge returns. Do you think the Wikimedia Foundation's technical prioritization accurately reflects editors' wants and needs? The Wikimedia Foundation often says that they need money to keep the lights on, to make sure the website is operational. The idea is that if there's not money to pay for the servers and updates of the software, then you have nothing. You have no Wikipedia website. The website crashes. And there's no future. Also, technology changes every year. We need software development. The internet changes every year. Wikipedia already is, for what it is, it's very outdated software as compared to any of the big tech companies because it's a nonprofit organization. It, it simply doesn't compare to the biggest, the budgets of the biggest tech companies in the world. It's got a lot of money. It does need the software development. The wiki community really wants this. But some of the problems are lack of transparency in how the Wikimedia Foundation spends the money. The wiki community just doesn't understand where is the money going to, how much money do we really need. The wiki community has also observed, and the Wikimedia Foundation has done this, when you invest in software projects, sometimes the software project seems important, and the Wikimedia Foundation will invest tens of millions of dollars in it. And after investing this money, it seems to be the case that the foundation reaches a dead end and abandons that direction of development. And it seems like the money evaporates. If we had better community conversations, more discussions about the budgets, transparency of what's going on, communities participating in the software development decisions, then I think that they're more legitimate. But to the extent that Wikimedia Foundation technical budgets are not transparent, not discussed with the community, don't have community support and consensus, aren't well explained, then they're less legitimate. So. I'll just go ahead on a limb here to say that transparent projects with community support are good and projects which are not documented and don't have a long list of community support are bad. So that's how you can classify Wikimedia Foundation projects. Love to hear what anyone else thinks about that. What do you think of the Board of Trustees election process? I was an election coordinator in two elections. I talked with election coordinators for the other elections. When I coordinated elections, we did it without budget. Wikimedia Foundation staff participated in these elections, did parts to coordinate it. I would say that they consumed hundreds of thousands of dollars. And there was a power imbalance in that you have paid staff who are participating in organizing the elections, doing it in a certain way that the community wouldn't want to do. And you have volunteers who are actually supposed to be running the elections because it's a community election. You want it to be from community stakeholders. They, they, don't, they don't have support or any control over the, the budget or resources. So I would like elections to have the balance of power in the hands of Wiki community members and for Wikimedia Foundation staff to have a supporting role only by the request of Wiki community members. And that's never existed in community elections since the time that the Wikimedia Foundation's budget started increasing. When there was money, there was, there was foundational uh, 
interference or manipulation or I, I don't want to want it to sound negative, but they definitely direct the way that the election goes and and guide the outcomes in, in certain ways that the community wouldn't select. So I like independent elections, actually. The Wiki community be funded somehow to, to run these elections independently, not just Board of Trustees elections, but any major Wiki community conversation or decision when the foundation puts their hands on it, they're also guiding it in certain ways, and, and we need independence for democracy. It's just a requirement. Thanks for hearing me out. This was 2022 Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees questions. I give my own answers to them. Check the link and read the questions and, and responses in community conversation yourself. Thanks.